How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Foot 2004. Once again, it's time for update 34. I know my channel's not massively active at the moment, but I still cover all of the updates. I tried to cover the Torben Tuesdays, we're not gonna lie, this month I completely forgot, so whatever. But today's video, I have everything you need to know about update 34. It's quite a good one. Before we get into that, guys, the social media that I am most active on is Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, Go ahead and do that so you'll get to see pictures of my new car. Go, go, go. Anyway, let's get into update 34, shall we? Now, I'm going to start with the festival playlist. I'm going to tell you every single month for the festival playlist and what we're getting inside each week. For the whole series, for 50% completion, you can get the backstage pass. And then for 80% completion, the Toyota AE86. Now, for the first week, which is summer, at 50% completion, you can get the first new car, which is the Porsche 356 RSR Emery. And then for 80% completion, the Rover SD1. There's nothing new in the exclusive championships. Now, the second week, which is autumn, for 50% completion, you can get another backstage pass. It's very easy to get. And then for 80% completion, the Aston Martin Vulcan um, AMR. And then once again, in the exclusive championship, there's nothing really new. Third week, which is winter, for 50% completion, you can get another backstage pass. It's full of backstage passes this, this month. So if you have some exclusive cars that you can't get, get those backstage passes and buy them. And then for 80% completion, the Aston Martin DBS SL 2019. And then there's nothing new in exclusive championships. Now, spring, which is the final week, for 50% completion, you can get the Renault Clio from 2003, and then for 80% completion, the Volkswagen ID.R. And then, through an exclusive championship, you can get the second new car of this update, the Pontiac Firebird from 1968, as seen on screen right now. And then through another exclusive championship on that week, you can also get the Alien Morph Suit. If that's something that interests you, sort of a rare thing, you can get that then as well. So that's the um, festival playlist for update 34. Two new cars in the playlist, um, lots of backstage passes. It's not too bad. Now, other than those new cars and the festival playlist and a few fixes, which I'll get to in a minute, um, there's not really anything else added to the update. However, we have been given a lot of information about the next big feature being added, which is the Super 7 High Stakes, which I'm going to talk about now. You may remember on screen, this option has been coming soon for a very long time now, but we've finally been told what it is and when we're going to get it. Basically, it's Super 7, but with high stakes, believe it or not, what it says on the box. You are going to get given Super 7 challenges at random, just like the normal mode. However, you can only attempt these each challenge three times. And if you fail more than three times, you're going to fail. Now, every time you complete one of these Super 7 challenges, you get given prizes and rewards which get put into a prize pool. Does that make sense so far? So let's say you do one, you complete it within three goes, you get given a prize and it gets put into the prize pool. You then get given a second challenge and you can choose either one, to bank all your prizes and get given them, or two, attempt this one and try to get even more rewards added into your prize pool. It's safe to say that the more you do in a row without failing more than three times, the more prizes you'll get stacked up. And then when you feel like it's getting a bit too risky, you can bank and then get all the rewards and claim them. But that obviously means, let's say you do nine Super 7 challenges in a row without failing more than three times and you've got this massive prize pool stacked up and you choose to do another Super 7 challenge but you fail it within three goes, you lose all of the prizes that you gained. Hope that makes sense. So yeah, it's going to be quite interesting to see how many challenges you can do, um, if there's a limit, what kind of rewards and challenges they are, prizes I mean. Um, yeah. It sounds quite risky. Now they said that's coming soon. When soon is, I don't know. It's not gonna be this update. It might be update 35 or update 36. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and find out. Possibly update 35, we'll have to see. It seems like quite a complicated feature. That's probably why it's taken so long, but it's coming soon and it sounds real good. Now for the updates and fixes that they have done in this update that we're getting um, whenever. And um, they have fixed some Steam achievements. They have fixed some memory related crashes on the Series X and Series S. They have fixed the mouse cursor appearing on screen when playing with a controller on Steam. 
They fixed some crashes relating to some new Windows updates on PC. They fixed some server population management issues on Steam. They have fixed some steering wheel issues when playing on Steam. And they have also done some fixes and updates to the Quadra, the car you see on screen, this car from Cyberpunk. A few things were wrong, a few things weren't right. Uh, well, that's the same thing. Um, they've, they've just fixed it up and made it even more accurate to the car in Cyberpunk. Um, so other than that, that is everything you need to know about update 34. Two new cars, lots of information on the high stakes feature, which I'm really looking forward to. And there you go nothing else to say so let me know what you're most looking forward to in this update only two cars but i mean the game's years old now you can't expect that much for free um i am looking forward to that new feature though that's going to be awesome leave a like if you've enjoyed guys subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content i'll see you all later